Hey boys and boys, um, today is Thursday and I'm Hayden. Uh, this week's topic I'm actually going to keep short because this week's topic is talking about your experiences coming out and then next week is like how your friends and family's feelings have changed since you've come out. Um, so I'll like cover the beginning this week and then the rest of it next week. Um, so yeah, I came out as genderqueer in, a. Uh, October, I, I came out as genderqueer on coming out day last year, uh, and then uh, I started coming out as trans in um, mid to late January. Um, that was sort of when I started meeting people and introducing myself as Hayden. Um, I wanted to like wait until I was sure, so a lot of the time when I'm telling someone something, it's like really far behind everything else. So, like, I don't know, it just takes me a really long time to, like, make sure I'm sure of this stuff, and I do that a lot. So, yeah. Um, and then in February, um, I went to see my girlfriend at the time, and I sent my mom, my dad, and my siblings an email, which I guess may or may not have been the best idea, but I wanted to make sure I was going to be safe, even though I wasn't really expecting anything to happen. And I sent out an email to everyone in the family, well, just what I had just listed, um, and, I don't know, I got a reply back from my mom, my sister, and my brother sent it to his wife, who, and she replied, and then, uh, my dad actually taking me home from my friend, my girlfriend's, um, kind of was like, oh, you know, I love you no matter what. Um, my mom sent me this email that was like, you will always be my beautiful daughter. Um, and I wasn't really sure at the time what that meant. I'll explain that in a couple minutes. And then my sister-in-law sent me like a, oh, we support you on this new chapter of your life thing, which was great. And then my sister <sighs> sent me, I don't even know, it was like this really long thing partially being like oh well maybe you're well uh, I don't even remember anymore it was just this huge ridiculous thing talking about how like I'm in this body for a reason and I'm this gender for a reason and talking about that and how I'm not trans because I'm too feminine and then also talking about, well, maybe I was put on this earth to educate people about being in between genders instead of being one or the other. And sorry, <laughs> I do facial expressions a lot. Um, so yeah, that was interesting. So I don't know. I guess, yeah. And then like when I got home, My mom just continued on life as normal, and then eventually I got really pissed off, like, a couple months later, and was like, why aren't you making an effort to use male pronouns? I'm male. What the heck? And she had no idea what the email meant, because when I sent out the email, my therapist recommended that I kind of make it a little vague and let them come up with their own terms, instead of saying, hi, I'm trans. So I said, I identify more as male than female, and apparently that doesn't mean that I identify as male and want male pronouns to my mom. Um, so, yeah. And then ensued, like, the rest of the year of arguing over pronouns and stuff and tea. Because she thinks that if I go on tea, I'm going to die. <laughs> I guess I'll explain that a little more next week. Um, she also, like, has been having, had a hard time with top surgery and stuff. But yeah, so then, um, my mom outed me to my aunt and my grandma when she was down there, um, last year, and there was arguing, and my grandma forgot, I think. And then, in June, at graduation, 
Um, I came out to my aunt, which actually went really well. JT was over, and <laughs> she kind of, like, grilled us both with questions. And then in December, um, around cr- Christmas, actually on Christmas, um, I'm really good at doing this, like, at family events now. Um, I came out to my other grandma, and she originally took it really, really well. Um, like, she wheeled her wheelchair over and grabbed my hands and gave me a hug and went, I will love you no matter what, and we had a discussion about it. Um, but that's changed a little bit, which I will also explain next week. Um, so yeah. Um, with my friends, like, I literally have only ever had one friend stop talking to me over it, um, because she's like, oh, you've changed too much. Um, but that was just, like, she was kind of a messed up person anyways and then I had one other person like questioning me but once I talked to him about it he was like he got it and he's like well never mind because this is your body not mine so it doesn't matter so yeah um questions this actually wasn't as quick a video as I thought it was gonna be um Miles wants to know what state or country we would live in um I'd love to live in Massachusetts because I really like Boston and I want to stay in Boston and I kind of hate being home right now. Um, I would also move to Canada. I would move to Vancouver. Um, JT has no questions since he just had top surgery. Um, update, everything has been going pretty well for him. Um, he's been like exploring Cleveland and stuff. Alex, quirks. I don't know what quirks I have. Casey wanted to know if we have any pets. I have two cats, a, um, they're both Devon Rexes, one is named Gwyn, and she's the girl, and then we have Timothy, the boy, and then I used to have a Bichon Frise named Blinky, but I went out one day and came back the next day, and my mom had put him down, which was really traumatizing, and then Caden wants to know Dunkin' Donuts versus Starbucks, I am not a fan of fancy drinks, so I'm gonna go with Dunkin' Donuts, um, so yeah. Um, and my question this week is, do you like cooking? Um, I've really been enjoying cooking a lot since I've been home, so I figured I'd ask. Anyways, have a great weekend, and goodbye!